Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session on fully managed SaaS data integration with Amazon AppFlow. My name is Kevin Sharonjiev, and I'm a senior analytics specialist solutions architect. And I'm joined today with Gaurav Gupta, a senior product manager for Amazon AppFlow. And together, we are excited to share with you how AppFlow can help you build data integration pipelines with various SaaS applications and AWS in minutes. We will also discuss how you can extend your application to leverage the vast ecosystem of AWS analytics and machine learning services with just few clicks. And uh, we will walk away uh, with some prescriptive guidance on speeding up innovation using AWS low-code analytics and machine learning services. In terms of the agenda today, good if we start with a short introduction of the service. We will then switch gears and talk about fully managed SaaS data integrations and how Amazon AppFlow can help. And then uh, we will wrap the session with a quick demonstration of the product, followed by a summary and next steps. And with that, a warm welcome to Gaurav, who will tell us what is Amazon AppFlow. Hello, everyone. My name is Gaurav Gupta. As Kevin mentioned, Amazon AppFlow is a fully managed integration service that enables you to securely transfer data between applications such as Salesforce, SAP, Marketo, and AWS services like Amazon S3 and Amazon Redshift in a no-code fashion. Looking at some of the top integration needs of our customers, they tell us that data security is a key consideration for them in building their integrations. Users want to encrypt data in motion or at rest, integrate with AWS private link, and meet various industry compliance levels such as HIPAA, ISO, and SOC2. AppFlow provides these capabilities. Users want a low cost and durable integration service. They don't want to pay for high licensing and maintenance fees. AppFlow provides them with a low pay-as-you-go pricing for building integrations. Users also need to run patch and real-time processes for transferring structured and unstructured data from different applications to data lakes and data warehouses on AWS. They then want to leverage capabilities of AWS analytics and machine learning services on their application data to better understand business operations and generate insights that enable innovative decision-making in areas such as customer engagement, cost management, supply chain, and healthcare. They also need to build integrations between two or more applications so that these systems act as one. Such integrations operate on events and transactions and drive actions and responses in near real time. As users build these integrations, they face three key challenges. Their data is stored in silos across various applications, SaaS, on-prem or on cloud, they need to bring it all together to unlock its value, either by drawing insights from it or using it to drive actions. And the existing solutions they have are complicated and expensive. They have a steep learning curve and high licensing and maintenance fees. So with Amazon AppFlow, users have the ability to provide for a fully managed SaaS data integration and we do this by breaking down data silos. Amazon AppFlow addresses these challenges by providing a centralized integration hub to move data between various applications and AWS. Users can transfer data from applications uh, such as Salesforce and Marketo and store the data in a centralized place such as Amazon S3. This gives them access to this data in a secure and compliant way. So they can do things like querying the data, extracting smaller data sets, and working with that data. And we do all this in a low-code, no-code fashion, lowering the technical boundary so user can easily interact with the service and bring data in for machine learning and analytics use cases. Airflow also provides integration with Glue Data Catalog to automatically register the metadata as part of the data transfer flow. Within three clicks, users can classify, infer schema, write the metadata, all without having to use crawlers. 
users can also partition and aggregate their data. Partitioning reduces the amount of data scanned per query and aggregation combines records per partition, thereby improving performance. From that point on, within a few clicks, users can share, govern, analyze, and visualize their data with the help of analytics, machine learning, and BI services, such as Amazon Athena, AWS Glue, Amazon Redshift Spectrum, Amazon EMR, SageMaker, and QuickSight. Users tell us that having a connectivity to a rich set of data sources is a foundational capability they need. Afro provides connectors to more than 80 of the most commonly used SaaS applications and many more are being added every month. We brought connectors to SaaS applications for sales and analytics, such as Google Analytics, Salesforce, and Zendesk. We have connectors to business and operations applications, such as SAP, ServiceNow, Slack, as well as marketing applications, such as Facebook Ads, Salesforce Marketing Cloud, and Marketo. In addition, users can use Airflow's custom connector SDK to build connectors to their custom applications and use them with Airflow. Now I'll pass it over back to Cayman, who will walk us through Airflow and show it in action. Thank you, Gaurav. Uh, thank you for walking us through Amazon Appflow. We're going to switch gears now and uh, show you a demonstration of the product and how you can easily build managed data integrations uh, with Amazon Appflow. And to do so, we will have the following scenario. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will focus on Amazon Appflow and demonstrate how you can bring data into AWS from a various different data sources. The scenario is to build a machine learning prediction model for opportunity conversion. For data sources, we will use Salesforce and we will ingest account opportunity and case data, but we will also add data from Zendesk about the customer support data. For target, we will use Amazon Simple Storage Service. And for tools to extend this application, you can leverage low-code analytics and machine learning services such as AWS Glue Data Brew for cleaning and preparing your data, and Amazon SageMaker Canvas for a low-code machine learning service that could help you with that. Before we join on the AWS Corso, I want to give you a simple view of how easy Flow is to be used. Upflow has been designed to accommodate a non-technical users with an easy to use interface, allowing the customer to easily build data integrations. Customers have to configure two main constructs in Upflow, a connection, which is the physical connection between the Amazon Upflow service and your SaaS application. This, is a construct, this construct is a gateway to securely communicate with your SaaS application. The second construct is called a flow, which is the actual unit of work. Once it's configured, a flow will use a flow and it can use multiple flows through your gateway or connection to communicate with your SaaS application and read or write data. To create a data integration pipeline with Amazon AppFlow, follow these four simple steps. First, you need to select the source and destination of your data. Choose a range of supported SaaS applications and AWS services. Then you configure your flow trigger. Uh, we generally support on-demand triggering, scheduled, which can be configured to up to one per minute. And for some SaaS applications, we also support event-driven uh, triggers, which means that the flow will be triggered as a, as a result of an event. Once you configure these steps, you need to configure the data mapping. This is where you map the fields from the source to the destination and apply any transformations and validations if needed. And finally, you need to run your flow and monitor flow execution and watch how your data gets into AWS. Let's switch to AWS console and build our fully managed data pipeline. Now that we are in the AWS console, the first step is to create our S3 destination where we are going to save all our data. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will create a new S3 bucket and I will name it A15 Dev. 
Now, let's head to Amazon AppFlow, which you can find in our application integration portfolio of AWS services. Like I mentioned on the AWS demo, on the AWS presentation, uh, we need to configure the connection first before we can create any flows and get data into AWS. So the first step is to select Salesforce and create a new connection. In this case, I will choose a production environment of Salesforce. I'm not going to use a, a private link and I will give the connection a name. Amazon Upflow will then launch a dialog and ask you to log into your Salesforce instance and allow Amazon Upflow to communicate securely with your Salesforce instance. With few clicks, we are now ready and we have our connection ready. It's time to create our flows. Because we are building a prediction model that will take data from a various different components and data sources, uh, we will need to create multiple flows that will bring data uh, from Salesforce and also Zendesk. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I will create multiple flows and I want to show you how easy that is. So we will first fetch any account information data from Salesforce. So I will select Salesforce. I will select the newly created connection that I've built just now and I will select the account object. We can choose as destination Amazon uh, S3 and we can choose our newly created data link. We can also select what for file format we want for our data. In our case, I will choose a CSV. I will run this flow on demand. And on the next step, I will map all fields as we want all the data in. We're not gonna add any filters. And with a few clicks, as you can see, we have managed to create our first flow. While we are running it and waiting for the data to be written, I will use the copy to new flow feature to create a few more uh, flows. We will also need data about our opportunities because this is what we are gonna uh, predict on. Uh, so we will select opportunity object from Salesforce. We will leave the rest as default as we as we're copying from a, an existing flow all the settings will be again so the most important part is when you're copying a flow to redo map all fields uh, because this step will not automatically be done for you so keep that in mind we're going to create the flow and execute it and again while we are waiting for this we're going to create a few more flows we also want to bring some case data from Salesforce uh, so we can link the data and make sure we have enough information to paste our predictions. So I'll select the case object, leave the rest of the settings as default, map fields. Create and run flow. And finally, I want to bring some data from another SaaS application. For that, I will still use a copy flow. However, on step two, I will select a different SaaS application. In this case, I have already created a Zendesk connection, which I will reuse. And I will select uh, to get the tickets and the user's object. So first, we're going to take the user's object. We will use the same settings as our, all our other flows. We'll create and run this flow. And finally, we will get another flow, the final flow, which will take all the desk tickets. It is useful to have data from various different data sources and, the, uh, uh, and build machine learning models based on that because having a support cases from your existing customers may impact the probability of converting future opportunities. We will map fields, create flow, and execute. 
Now, if we go back to our flows, we will see a list of flows that we've created. And because we already run most of them, we can see the date when the last run was made. If you open a random one, let's say opportunity, and go to the history, history tab, we can see that our flow executed successfully and brought in uh, 31 records. And if we go to our S3 bucket, we will now see a multiple folders into our root folder with data in from the various different data sources. Now you can see how in less than five minutes, I was able to create a fully managed data pipeline without writing a single line of code and being able to bring data from two different data sources uh, that I can use for further analysis. We can also uh, use the query tool, the query S3 select uh, tool, which comes with Amazon S3 to make a preview of our data, which you can see here. Now let's, let's get back to our presentation. So with just a few clicks on the AWS console, we were able to break down data silos from different SaaS applications and bring data into Amazon S3. Further to what Gorov said with the glue data catalog integration, you can leverage the vast ecosystem of AWS analytics and machine learning services to get the insights out of your data. In conclusion, Amazon AppFlow empowers you to build data integration pipelines with various SaaS applications and AWS services in minutes, eliminating the need to write, test, deploy, and maintain custom code. By integrating AppFlow with other AWS services such as Blue Data Catalog, Blue Data Brew, and Amazon SageMaker Canvas, you can efficiently leverage the full potential of AWS analytics and machine learning services. This enables your organization to speed up innovation, make better informed decisions, and gain competitive edge in the market. To help you get started, here is some prescriptive guidance on how to speed up innovation using those services. Use Amazon AppFlow to ingest data from various sources into AWS, enabling you to analyze and derive insights from a single unified platform. Store your metadata into the AWS Blue Data Catalog to make it easier to discover, search, and understand your data, which in turn can help you make better informed business decisions. Clean and prepare your data using AWS Blue Data Brew, reducing the time spent on manual data wrangling tasks and allowing data scientists and analysts to focus on value-added activities. Utilize Amazon SageMaker Canvas and Amazon SageMaker Autopilot to create and deploy machine learning models without the need of coding, democratizing access to machine learning capabilities across your organization. Thank you for joining today's presentation on fully managed SaaS data integration with Amazon AppFlow. I hope this information has been valuable and provided you with the necessary guidance to get started with Amazon AppFlow and other low-code AWS services. Have a great day.